Here now we continue with the y equations of vectors. This is 2007, number 1a. Find correct to one decimal place the angle between P equals 3 minus 1, and that's the same as 3i minus 1j, and Q equals 3, 4, which is the same as 3i plus 4 j now the angle between the two vectors is given by p dot q equals magnitude of p times times magnitude of q multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them let the angle be theta and now this simply means cos theta is the same as p dot q over magnitude of p times magnitude of q which means p is 3i minus j and q is 3i plus 4j so that means 3 times 3 plus minus 1 times 4 that's the dot product all over square root of the magnitude of p is 3 squared plus minus 1 squared times the magnitude of q which is 3 squared plus square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared and that's the same as 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1 times 4 is minus 4 and 9 minus 4 is 5 that's 5 all over this is 3 squared is 9 the square of minus 1 is 1 so that's the square root of 10 so this is root 10 and this is 3 squared is 9 4 squared is 16 that's the square root of 9 plus 16 25 square root of 25 is 5 so this is simply the same as root 10 times 5 and we can say 5 year 1 5 year 1 and that's 1 over root 10 so theta itself is going to be the cos inverse of 1 over root 10 and that's equal to let's check that cos inverse of 1 over root 10 1 divided by root 10 first and let me find the cos inverse of our answer and that's 71 point they said we should find the answer correct to one decimal place and that means 71.6 degrees so that's the angle between p and q now we go straight to b a b c d is a square with vertices a zero zero b two zero c two two and d zero two okay we can have a sketch of that let me do let me sketch that now let this be a the origin is a we coordinate zero zero b two zero let this be b we coordinate two zero c two two that means on the x-axis it is 2 and on the y-axis it is also 2. Let that be here. 2, 2. And D, 0, 2. Let that be here. D, we coordinate 0, 2. Now, this is what you have when you join the points together. Yeah, that's it. So, the question now says, forces of magnitude 10 newtons 15 newtons 20 newtons and 5 newtons act along ba ba bc dc and ad respectively 10 newtons act along ba so ba is 10 newtons 5 15 newtons act along bc 15 newtons along bc 15 newtons and uh what else 20 newtons along dc 20 newtons along dc that's 20 newtons and 5 newtons along ad 5 newtons along ad so this is what the shape i think i can bring it out here this is the shape mm -hmm. this is the shape just very quickly this is a we coordinate zero zero this is b with coordinates two zero and this is c 
with coordinate 0 2 while wow, this is D with coordinate no this is C with coordinate 2 2 C with coordinates 2 2 and this is D with coordinates 0 2 so the force acting along BA is 10 newtons the force acting along BC along BC is 15 newtons the force acting along DC is 20 newtons and the force acting along AD is 5 newtons. Now, the question is find Roman figure 1, the magnitude, find the Roman figure 1 magnitude and 2 direction of the resultant force. So, how do we find the magnitude of the, of the resultant force? Um, the, let the resultant force be R. R is the same as the square root of the sum of horizontal yes sum of horizontal, sum of horizontal forces all squared plus sum of vertical components of forces all squared yeah and that simply means what is the sum of horizontal components of forces yeah that will be 20 when we add this to this that's going to be 20 minus 10 we see that this is in an opposite direction to this one so the sum of horizontal components of forces sum of horizontal forces will be 20 minus 10 which is 10 newtons and the sum of vertical components of forces will be this is they are both 5 newtons and 15 newtons are both in the same direction so their resultant is going to be 20 newtons now this that means r is square root of 10 squared plus 20 squared plus 20 squared which is the same as the square root of 100 plus 400 that's the square root of 500 which is simply uh 10 root 5 that's 10 root 5 10 root 5 newtons 500 is the same as 5 times 100 so the square root of 500 will mean the square root of 100 which is 10 multiply by the square root of 5 and that's just root 5 now so that's the magnitude of the resultant roman figure 2 says find the direction of the resultant the sum of the vertical components of the forces is 20 newtons so we can sketch this yeah this is sum of vertical components and that's 20 newtons move that forward a little this is summation f y and that's equal to 20 newtons summation f y is 20 newtons and summation f x is 10 newtons so the resultant is going to be this is the resultant which is 10 root 5 newtons now let this angle be theta if this angle is theta then tan theta tan theta is summation f y over summation f x which is the same as 20 over 10 and theta itself is the same as yeah, 20 over 10 and theta itself is the same as the tan inverse of 20 over 10 the tan inverse of 20 over 10 and that simply means let's check that tan inverse of 20 over 10 is 2 and that's 63.435 435 degrees now the direction of the resultant is the angle from here the direction of the resultant is this angle that's the angle you read it from the uh from the vertical positive y axis so what is that angle therefore therefore direction of the resultant is equal to 
direction of resultant direction of resultant is equal to 90 minus theta which is the same as 90 minus of course we can see that this pink angle is 90 minus theta so that's 90 minus 63.45 90 minus 63.4.435 and that's equal to 90 90 minus 63.435 and that's 26.57 and they say we shall approximate to one decimal place and that's 26. Point this one just says okay find huh? okay that's the same as uh, they didn't mention or uh, the, the, the degree of accuracy to which we should, we should leave our answer here so let me just leave it as 26.57 degrees and that's it very very simply all right let's take a breather and be back in a sec <laughs> 